we want to see outside. We're in a tree house, so we put these two big windows here. Uh, we have all the niceties of a standard home. You, you got a shower and a sink and a toilet in a tree house, which is pretty, it's pretty cool. Hi, my name's Anthony. Come take a tour. So welcome to the kitchen. Uh, when my wife and I decided to build a tree house, I got my way by building a tree house, but she also got her way by picking all the luxuries out. Uh, so instead of going with the cheaper countertop, she wanted granite. Um, you know, we do get some luxuries, you know, with having a, a sink with running water and being able to have the flexibility to cook, you know, a full meal for your family while also staying in a, a tree house. With that being said, you know, moving from a big 4,000 square foot house into a 400 square foot house, you have to start eliminating some of the niceties um, that you would have at home. Um, instead of having five or six different pots, you have one pot. So finding a contractor to build the tree houses was pretty tough. Um, we contacted, I would say 15 or 20 builders from builders in Florida that built houses on stilts to builders that in Tennessee and North Carolina that built on the side of a mountain. It, and it was just impossible to find, but there's somebody out there that'll do it. And uh, just finding the right builder with the motivation and, and the drive that wants to do something unique. So when designing the kitchen, uh, yeah, I had my ideas, my wife had her own ideas, but the builder brought us back to reality and said, hey, you know, that's nice to have, uh, but we need to condense everything down to something smaller. One thing I wish I would have done is the microwave, having a little bit more storage space for you know plates and cups and stuff. Um, other than that, I think we did pretty well designing the kitchen for this small space. Now we're in the living room. Uh, again, trying to design a luxury tree house. Uh, we have all the niceties of a standard home. 50 inch TV mounted on the wall two-seater dining room table. Uh, but again, being at a tree house, we cook and we go outside to eat. We like natural lighting because you're in a tree house, you want to see outside. So we try to do as many windows as we can without compromising the structure. So uh, instead of going with a traditional HVAC system, uh, which would have taken up a lot of space in the ceilings, walls, or floors, uh, we went with a, a mini split, which one is cheaper, two, it's a lot more efficient um, with the electric bill because we were coming from a house where we were paying $800 for electric coming to a tree house where our electric bill barely breaks $100. In South Carolina, you can get the 95 degrees with 80% humidity and the, the mini split, just one in 400 square feet, you're gonna have to turn it off, it gets so cold in here. So running plumbing too to a tree house, also disguising it was pretty difficult because um, nothing's underground. Everything's above ground and under the house, 30 feet in the air. So insulating it and covering it and hiding it was a big task, um, especially for the amount of plumbing that you would use for a full-size house is, is crammed into 400 square feet. We painted it to match the background um, and using unconventional insulation versus wrapping it to hide it was, was a big deal um, in, in the design of the outside of the house. But you, you got a shower and a sink and a toilet in a tree house, which is pretty, is pretty cool. So originally uh, we had saved up about $400,000 to get these built. You know, again, we're in the, in the South, uh, it, you know, in the middle of nowhere. So the land was pretty cheap. Uh, and then we budgeted about $100,000, $110,000 uh, per unit once we figured out that we were building four. So our quote to build four was around 440 to 470 on the high side uh, before COVID. And then after COVID, we were around 600,000 um, to get them done. But with that being said, you know, renting them out was, was a no brainer uh, to make up the additional cost of it. Um, you know, I'm retired from the military, so I have a fixed income. You know, we're just doing this to pay the bills uh, and then also reinvest the money back into the tree houses uh, by adding different stuff um, to them. We, you know, we'd like to have, you know, maybe a zip line 
going down the back of one of them or you know eventually put in a hot tub or even one of those container pools uh, which we've seen a couple of times out, out front um, but again we we're not we're not doing it to really make money it's it's more of to pay the bills and have a really nice place to stay um, whenever we would like. Welcome to the bedroom. Uh, another unique design because everything in here was purchased and, and put in here with the mindset of having a small area. You can't have a nightstand with a light on it, so we purchased a bed that had lights uh, built into them. Also with the bed, we searched for months, uh, looking for a bed that would not only fit in here, but be lower to the ground, because uh, with, with a lower ceiling, you know you don't want anything super high. Uh, so we found something with built-in drawers in it. Uh, so not only you know do you have a bed, you have a dresser. We like to watch TV when we go to bed. You know, small 32 inch TV. The ability to have a TV in the bedroom in a tree house is again, another unique feature. We wanna see outside when we're in a tree house, so we put these two big windows here. Uh, so being able to wake up to that light, stand up and, and be able to go out the back door and, and see a beautiful view with all the trees is, is almost indescribable. So heading up to the loft, uh, we, found out through our local building code, if you have 400 square feet or less, you don't have to have a traditional ladder with that grade going up. If it's 400 square feet or less, you can have one of these sailboat ladders where you just go straight up, which you know, lets us have more living space versus unusable space that would just be drywalled in. So now that we're up in the loft, um, we had a lot of ideas and issues of trying to get a bed up here. Um, you know, the stair, way is is you know two feet wide so you're not getting a mattress up here a traditional mattress you're not getting a bed up here you know you're not getting a dresser up here so we had to improvise all the mattresses we've bought have been bed in the boxes with that being said there's no closet up here so we went with a odd design over here to have the ability to hang up a few clothes if if you really really need to Windows was another addition. Again, we like natural lighting. We like to look out. You know, now we're upstairs. We're probably 50, 60 feet up in the air. So being up in the treetop and looking down is an unusual way to look out. It's, it's, it's so much prettier because you get more of the feel of nature. And now the best part of the house, the indoor hammock. Through my builder and doing a lot of research, we found these custom nets um, that were specifically made for this opening. Um, and my builder did a really good job of getting them in and getting them tight enough to where they don't sag as much, but they still are comfortable. Our kids love to come up here. They spend hours up here. Uh, you can also see the TV downstairs. You can communicate with the people downstairs. And if you have six people in this, this tree house and you have two or three up here, it doesn't feel like you're in a small condensed space. Uh, we also use this place sometimes when we don't have company to store you know, our luggage, you know, extra boxes, or stuff that we just want out of our way. We are in a small country town uh, in South Carolina, and people don't really like change, so, uh, buying this property and not being from the area. So going to the county uh, and the approval process was a little, little difficult. There's about say 15 or 20 houses on this road and about eight or nine people showed up to contest it because they really didn't understand what the project was. Um, but the commission loved the idea, you know, get people come in for the weekend and, and get them back out of here, you know, spend their money here and go back to where, you know, they live. Uh, but after, they saw what we did and what we built. Almost all the neighbors came back to me and said, hey, great job. You know, we, we just didn't want you to throw up, you know, a, a trailer on stilts and, and, and really ruin this beautiful area that they have going on. So if you're thinking about building a tree house or, or even a tiny home, it's, you know, just don't rush it, take your time. Don't waste your money on, on something you don't like. 
Um, there, there's, there's, there's someone out there to build it for you. There is, there's, there's thousands of, of different ways to do it. Um, you know, just don't settle. Because uh, we, we found ourselves, it did take longer than we expected, but instead of not being happy with the final product, we just took a little bit longer to find the right design and the right products that go in our tree houses. Welcome to the back deck, right out the master bedroom's door. Instead of attaching this unit to, to trees, we, we built on stilts. Um, so we specifically placed trees, the, the, the angle of the house, to where we have trees coming through the deck all around the wraparound deck. Our favorite place in this whole house is, is the back deck. You, you got all the views, you have nature, so we also love, love the cook. So we have our grill right here. Transitioning from indoor to outdoor, again, you still want to be outside. So having outdoor cooking amenities is essential if you want to spend most of your time outside. Again, we invested a lot into the actual tree houses. So we wanted to make the outside match the inside. Um, so, you know, fire pit, we can all gather around. You know, got some picnic tables. We got hammocks over there. We love to have family events, so cornhole, you know, volleyball. Um, we have a small four-hole disc golf uh, course uh, around the property. The the main reason of, of having a tree house is you want to be outside, and, and if you're inside the whole time, you're not really taking in all of what nature has to offer. You're you're not doing it right. You know, if you're looking to do, do this for a business or, or just want to make you know, a little money or, or have it pay for itself in the end, I would just get your feet wet in something other than building first. Try renting short term out on a smaller project because you know, it isn't easy to rent short term rental. You, know, you have to have a lot of things in line um, to rent out you know, you know, cleaners, maintenance. Um, you know, and if you have a regular job, you can't walk away from that job at one o'clock in the afternoon to come out here and fix the toilet or, or you know, or you end up spending $300 on a plumber to jiggle a handle. Um, so, you know, if you're looking to make money on it, you know, and you've never done it before, I would start smaller, maybe rent a room out, but to see how much work is actually involved in it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you'd like to find out more information about the tree houses, uh, you can visit us on Facebook at Treesort SC or on our website at treesortsc.com.